everyone, it's Kathy here and today I'd like to share with you an exploding box that I've created using papers from Misty Mountains. For this particular project I embellished just the top of the box using coordinating flowers from Kaiser Craft and you can also see that I've got some butterflies that I used uh, I created using some leftover papers that are also coordinating beautifully with the overall design. I also added some flowers. Just to add some dimension, I mounted this particular um, paper bloom onto some cardboard just to lift it up a bit, just so that I could tuck these other uh, paper blooms underneath. So that's something that you can try if you wish. And just to disguise the fact that there was some cardboard, I've tucked in these mini paper blooms so that you can't notice that there's actually cardboard um, underneath that particular paper bloom. So I'm going to reveal the particular um, exploding box and this one contains a lot of photos and also um, spaces to um, place your photos. I've created this um, as a gift for my cousin and his family who've just recently been on an overseas trip. I've started adding the photos but there's still some more photos that I need to add because they've only just arrived back and um, they've shared a lot of photos so once it's complete with the photos I'll be able to give this to them as a gift. So you take off the lid and the box unfolds like this as you can see. So this contains three sections so I'll go through to explain how it works. So inside the box we've got the inner layer which goes up like this and then we have the next layer which raises up and then we have the base layer. So I'll go through each section to reveal um, how I've created each. So for the top layer which is this layer I've got just um, a belly band and inside the belly band I've just used some of um, some leftover papers to fill in some spaces and also I have used one of the cut apart sheets. Immediately when I saw it I just cut it all apart because it has the most um, beautiful sayings. So what I did was I also created some tags so that you could mount photos and also journal on the back if you wish. So my intention is that I will probably put the photo here so that you could uh, write a little journal to recall your memory that is associated with the photo and they all slide inside the belly band like so. These are some samples of the beautiful quotes and again if you want to you can write a memory on the back or this could also be a space for a photo and I've done that for for all of the four sides and for two I've I've just added a little tag so just write something personal on the back if you wish. For the next layer I have got a little pocket and inside the pocket I've got a little booklet and on the front of each I've put a little quote which is from that same sheet which opens up. This project uses a lot of papers so I used um, papers from the 12 by 12 papers and also to supplement some of the um, smaller areas I use some, a few sheets from the paper pad. So inside here this is going to be a space for photos and I've also lined the back with some pattern paper and this is a, a, an example of where I've used papers from the paper pad. There's also room in here if you wish to add any other little mementos or extra photos as well. So this lifts up and what I tried to do was try to have a link with the prior layer if possible but all of these papers just coordinate so beautifully together so mixing and matching was really not an issue. So this layer lifts up and then what I have here on opposite ends I have a, a mini waterfall and then on the edge I have just a little pocket. So the waterfall has a magnetic closure which opens up like this and here I've started to put in some photos 
of their trip and that just closes with the magnetic tab like this and in the corner there's just a section here where you can put in your photos and that's my cousin there and you can write on the back or there's another space for a photo if you wish and that slides in there and so I'll just give you another example just goes across like this open up and like so so from memory I've got about 20 photos just in that bottom layer I haven't even started putting any in these middle or top layers so easily you could fit about 30 photos so in effect it's like a little mini album all contained in a box and just to close the box everything just slips up and folds in and the lid pops back on top so thanks so much for stopping by and I hope that you have a wonderful day